Well, how do that, Chums Design, Captain of the Steves, and today, Chums, I've got a coffee today, people. Yes, a lovely, beautiful coffee, heck yes, lovely jubbly. And I'm going to be trying something inside of No Man's Sky. I'm going to try and get the incinerator module from my own multi-tool, repackage it out, duplicate it, and give it to Warfy, or give it to Mr. Kettle and side of my live stream. So I've got all this footage all pre-saved. Now, I was in two minds about putting it in the first half um, live, but I needed to do the testing. So this is the only way I could think of stitching it all together. And I thought, well, I'd do it as a coffee episode or a cup of tea episode with Captain Steve. So let's jump on over onto my PlayStation 5 first. And I'll show you some of the edited footage that I had ready to go. Now, this is inside of good old Share Factory. Let's make this full screen and let's hit play. I'm just going to shut up and drink some of my coffee while you guys enjoy this. Well, how do that, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys in the viewerverse, I'm going to be doing some testing. Inside of the actual patch notes for Fractal, it says that you can now give access to the refiner to people inside of your group or to your friends. So I've put a large refiner over here. There it is. What a beauty. Yes or no. And it's got these free slots. And I've got free chums that are hopefully going to be coming down to the planet. So if you go into Network, and then you go to Group and Friends, you can share it with your refiner. Can access your refiner. Lovely jubbly. Hey, Yes, so what am I attempting to duplicate? Oh well, or give out to my friends the incinerator module. So here we go. I'm going to be stowing this away, so making it package technologies, and I'll probably just stick it inside of my exocraft for a moment. I'll call in my ship, create an autosave, so I know exactly where this module is. It's inside of that little nomad. Cool, just in case things go wrong. Hopefully, it's still going to be there at the end of all of this. Cool, now I'm going to call in my ship, create a little autosave, jumping in and out of that ship. Heck yes. So if anything goes wrong, I can revert back, not to the last autosave, but the one prior to that, and it should bring me back to this point. That's what I'm thinking anyway. But what I would say out there in the viewerverse, if you're trying this at home, maybe back your save up to a USB or to the cloud so you can restore that way, just to be 100% sure, because this could go a little bit squiffy. Anyway, back inside the Nexus, I've turned off my multiplayer network settings. I'm going to be doing this solo. Now, all I'm doing is picking up the incinerator and putting it inside of my personal refiner. Let's just check that it's definitely in there. So there you go. It's in there it's not going to refine you can't spin it into nanites or anything like that i'm going to jump in my ship out of my ship create an autosave brilliant run over to the nexus cube now even the switch players should be able to do this now i'd imagine because you've now got access to quicksilver missions so yeah let us know if this works on switch sound off in the comments and i'm just going to hit on up a normal mission not a quicksilver mission just a normal mission from the missions cube and as i'm running back to my ship you'll see the icon pop up now you can close that letterbox view by holding down your touchpad on playstation other buttons and other consoles are available and then before you get in the ship take out the thing from your refiner that you want to duplicate because it, it's not just the incinerator this is going to work with you can use anything in here take that out and put it back inside my exosuit so it's inside my exosuit jump in my ship don't fly out jump back out of your ship and that's going to create another little mini restore point but it's going to say not saved in multiplayer we don't care about that restore that last save point and hopefully, people, this is where things get interesting, because now I'm hoping to have one inside of my personal refiner and one inside of my inventory space. Don't worry, we're going to repeat these steps one more time just so you get used to it. But let's have a look, see if it's worked. So, yes, I've got one inside of my suit right there. Have I got another one in here? The moment of truth. Heck yes, I do. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. And I'm a little cheaty cheat bag. Yes, I am. There we go. I've got two of these now. Brilliant. But, you know, this might help other players. I could do this, like, it's going to take me ages to get a shed load of them. But then, technically, I can invite people to my game over to me so that's the first part that's the whole setup that's the whole duplication of the modules and stuff like that but now what happened during friday when i teamed up with wolfie and mr kettle to give them these incinerators well you know what let's jump on over and i'd show you exactly what happened people in the viewerverse okay so here we go and reaction there we go boom Boom. There you go. You can see me at the moment i'll just take me out for a second so you can see the actual proper camera footage of uh, when I actually did this. So we go boom and play. And let's um, see if you can see the items in there. Yes, I can. Can you take one out? Uh, nope. No? Oh, bollocks. Nope. Okay, okay one second. Let me um, right. enter network and let's just put it Where, to. Where's Rufi? Where are you? They're labeled as hermetic seals. Are they? 
Yeah. Well, that's just bollocks. They're not hermetic seals at all. Yeah, I'll take a photo okay. show you. I know. They've gone. Okay. I've got... Oh, no, I have got incinerator packages. I've got two of them. Cool, take one. Well, I've already got one. Okay. Well, just, I just want to know whether um, it bloody works. Put it in a multi-tool that you haven't no, got one in. No, ah, there we go. Uh, I'll put it in my exosuit. Yeah, and then try a multi-tool multi that you haven't got one in. Yeah, let me and see if you can one. install a K uh, to it. I think I might put it in all my guns just for the So time. it worked for Kettle. I wonder why it's not working for you, Wolfie. Because I don't have the incinerator. There's still two in oh, there. Oh, could be... That's oh, weird. I... Kettle took one, but there's still two in there. This could be a way nope. of duplicating on the fly, then. Nothing in there for me. Uh, OK. Uh, um, let me take them out. Right, I don't think I have in. one in that gun, so let's give that a try, then. Okay, I've took them out. I'll put them back in again, Morphy, and then you can try again. But that's weird. Kettle took one, and it doesn't matter. Ah, there it is. Okay. I'll just put one in there, Morphy. Give that a go. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's install it. Yep, that's let me install it. Says it right there on the actual screen, Mr. Kettle the Unfortunate has installed the incinerator. So it is working to a roundabout way. I mean, it's not working for Worfie. Worfie has never had the incinerator before, and whenever he accessed the large refiner, all he was actually seeing is the hermetic seal, which is pretty darn freaking weird. Now, I know that Zoo Games and Ricey Starship Emporium, they team up at weekends and they do a massive sort of events. They try to get 32 people into a lobby, and they've been testing multiplayer for some time to see if it works. So I jumped into their stream, and because I knew they were doing a load of testing anyway, I said, how about trying this? We tested it. This was the results we had, and things were crashing. Things weren't really working too well. Because, yeah, a little bit later on in my video, people, um, my, my actual game iteration crashed. Completely kicked me out. And you see that happening inside of Ricey's sort of footage. Let me just jump over to the reaction cam over here. So, boom. Put that over there. Lovely jubbly. So this, you can see here, I was in the live chat over here. And I was telling them what we tried and what I feel they could try trying. And they've got PC players, Xbox players, PlayStation players, all in one iteration. And what they found is when Ricey put his... Here's the actual um, multi-tool attachment in here for the incinerator. When people went and interacted with it, they vanished. So you can see there, there's Gary right there. And Gary is just about to go and interact with that sort of refiner. And you watch, he vanishes in a second, people. Let's make this a bit bigger. And I'll play you a little bit of footage from this while I drink some more of my coffee. Gary. What about Soyuz? Oh, I, I, I pushed the wrong button. Gang Biscuit gifted five zoo memberships. Hey, Skang! Oh, Thank oh, you so Skang. much. It's very kind of you. Very oh, appreciated. Skang. That's uh, my large refiner, I think. Uh, so. Let's see who gets them. Silver Samurai, Corvax Cow, Amy D. Um, so awesome. Gary's just vanished, hasn't he? Or is he just Are you off? putting your incinerator in there, Zoo? So yes, you can see here, I've zoomed in. Gary has left the system, and I don't think that was willingly, because he interacted with the refiner and then vanished, decated, and it looks like another person has also left the system, probably for the same thing happening at another refiner. Fingers crossed. Gary got kicked. All right, OK. All right, well, there's an incinerator in there. Oh. There is an incinerator in the... Um, in this one here. Refiner in this one, still. I'm going to see if I can get it. So who's trying there? Good nope. room's having a go. No? No. Nope. Hmm. Doesn't show up. No, right Still there no. for me. Either one. Either one of the ones that I put down have the incinerator in them. Oh, let me nope. see if I, what my setting says about... Okay, so, uh, okay, so and Captain Steve has just said that's what Wolfie saw and you... the game crashed. So you put it in, someone goes in and it either crashes the game or you get kicked out. Okay. There's tentative base parts, can add be parts anyone. Uh, okay. And there's a, there's a setting though for it, isn't there? In your options where, menu. Um, where is yes. that? Under that can access refiner anyone. Yeah. yeah. I just put it so anyone can re access the refiner. Yeah, I did too. Did you see it in there now? Uh, no, not in that one.
So yeah, Gary, I think, actually vanished when he tried to get his. Now I'll show you the bit of footage that I've got of the actual game crashing over on my weekend mission. One second, people. I'll go grab that for you. Any moments now. One minute. And play. Boom. Coming into your system. Incinerator. Okay. But just leave it there. Maybe it takes several minutes for it to show up for all players. Yeah. So... Let's let Wolfie get back down here, and by the time he's here, hopefully he might see them. Oh, the game crashed. Oh, something went wrong. My game crashed. Did yours crash? Yeah, so, yeah mine's... Uh, yeah. Oh, just as a good Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll still see nobody here, then. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Michael, yeah. So now, people, it appears to be that it kind of works and it kind of doesn't. <laughs> you can share it to people that have had the incinerator before, but you can't share it with people that need the incinerator and never had it, ever. Um, whenever they try to pick it up, they see the hermetic seal. When they try to take the hermetic seal out, their game crashes. So I really don't know how we're going to get around this one. I'm hoping that with all those bug reports going over to Hello Games from all different platforms, thanks to Ricey and Zoo, massive thank you to both of those content creators. I'll put links to their videos inside of the, um, the video description, as well as my weekend mission running. Yeah, heck yes. In fact, I'll put that one up there. You can click that to go and watch it in full if you want. And also the duplication method, just in case it was a bit too quick inside of this video I'll put that in the video description too if you want to try this at home um i think i'm going to send this one over though to professor cynical <laughs> because him and his crew if anyone can do it and get this working it's probably them but what i would say is it's probably not going to work until we've got a round of more fixes going into the iteration now i'm fairly sure inside of the waypoint patch notes when they actually put in the ability to package technology they said pa share package technology with friends at least i think that's what they said i'll go and check one second Okay, people, well, I'm over on side of their website right now, so let me just put that on screen for you. One minute, there we go, chicka-boom. And I'm over on their website, on the Tinterwebs. Technology and packaging. Installed technologies may now be disassembled into convenient, transferable packages. Stash them away in your infantry to install a freshly acquired Starship or multi-tool, or trade with friends to collect your dream loadout. Okay, well, that bit there is the bit in question, people. You can't trade with friends. It doesn't let you transfer them over to friends. So I don't know whether this was an intended feature that Hello Games then recanted on because it might take the enjoyment out of sharing, more, well, finding them yourself, but it's clearly inside of their patch notes. So it was intended at one point, but maybe they realize that the incinerator module, when you do put it over to a mate, turns it to a, I don't know, one of those hermetic seals and crashes their game. Who freaking knows? We'd never know. It, it'd be nice if Hello Games were a little bit more vocal around these sort of things and mention it inside of their patch notes. Actually, we've, we've removed this for this reason. Or whether they just let it happen or put the incinerator in for all players to enjoy anyway. You know, like the Sentinel Pillars, we get multi-tools offered up inside the Sentinel Pillar. Well, why not put in multi-tools that have still got the incinerator in just inside of Sentinel Pillars so people can go hunting inside the Sentinel Pillars to try and find their own incinerator module and put them in the game legit-wise and maybe make it when you're killing Sentinels as well as getting that sort of the, the glass. Every now and again, when you pop the glass, you might get an S-Class incinerator module so you can boost the stats on your incinerator. Hello, games. Please make that happen. And that makes the most logical of sense of things to do. Please, heck yes. And I'll probably send this video over to Hello Games since it's got the idea tagged on to the end of it. But that it just goes to show, though, what you read inside the patch notes doesn't always translate over into game does it? But anyway, I've nearly finished my actual coffee there. We're nearly at the bottom. It's like the 32 player lobbies. So something that Zoo Games and Ricey have been testing over the point of when Waypoint rolled out is multiplayer for their events and community events, because they used to do them weekly. At the moment, they're scuppered and they have been since Waypoint. They have the, man the most they manage to get in on PC now is 16 players. And even then, it's a very janky affair where sometimes players can see them, but they can't see the players. And it's a very hit and miss. I mean, at the moment we struggle every single Friday to run the weekend mission there's just four of us doing that so multiplayer is still a bit of a shambles and definitely needs some sort of love given to it and polish from Hello Games because something is very broken there Hello Games it really is but anyway I'm going off on a little bit of a side rant which I wasn't intended 
Maybe I've had too much coffee. Who knows? Anyway, people in the view of us, enjoy your weekend. I know I am. The sun's out. The guns are out. I'm having fun. Heck yes, I need to go see what Ivy wants to do. She's talking about going to the allotment, people. We have an allotment. Yes, you can see the allotment progress over on her channel. I put a video up there for any of you keen budding gardeners to uh, Ivy's allotment playlist, if she has one, or gardening playlist. I know she has one of them. Anyway, goodbye. <laughs>